schools without libraries. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Schools without nurses. Yep. Yeah. And schools without counselors. Yeah. Yep. We need to start shifting this paradigm. This paradigm which has us disengaged, powerless, beholding the interests that aren't ours, treating us like objects that they just happen to us and that's just the way things are and I have to do my job. No longer can we sit in complacency and worry simply about our own little space and bubble. We have to break that bubble. We have to go out into our communities. We have to feel uncomfortable. Mm. And only through these conversations, only through this organic practice that every generation has done, might I add, will we actually get any type of victory. Oh, okay. And the victory that I'm talking about isn't just the PFT election. This is a means to an end. Mm. And the end is justice. And it's because of all the people I see in this room. That's right. The only thing that's going to change this mess is us, is we, and we can turn this thing around. We have been fighting this thing for years, and we're making headway. Status quo unionism has got to go. Status quo unionism has put this mighty PFT to sleep. Mm. And it is time to wake up the sleeping giant. That's right. <laughs>